Welcome to Azure Kubernetes service. In this video, we will see about AKS Azure Kubernetes service and we will see how we can create AKS inside the Azure. If you have not seen my previous videos about the Kubernetes and container, then you can see in the suggestions you should first understand about the Kubernetes and container. As we have seen in the previous videos, to manage the container, we can use Docker and Kubernetes. Imagine about the complex solution where we have multiple microservices. Every service is running on the different ports using different URL. We want to put every microservice in a container. So we will have the n number of the containers. To manage all these containers, we need a service. We need a orchestration service that can manage such kind of containers can be managed by Kubernetes. Microsoft provided a platform for the Kubernetes where we can take the advantage of Kubernetes service inside the Azure portal. We no need to worry about the infrastructure. Azure Cloud has already implemented the Kubernetes service. Therefore, we can say like two technology, Azure Cloud service plus Kubernetes service. This commandly we called Azure Kubernetes service. So as a definition, we can say Azure Kubernetes is a fully managed container management service by Microsoft Azure Cloud service provider. Means this is fully managed by Microsoft Azure. So in the Azure cloud we have the service that that we call azure kubernetes service this is a diagram of the kubernetes cluster here you can see the two sections left hand side is the section you can see control plane scheduler api server controller manager etcd etcd is the database so dif different components are there so if you want to understand, you can more learn about the Azure manager management, but you don't need to worry about this uh, particular section. Azure itself managing all this environment, but you should have some basic information like, like ATC is the database that having the information about the clusters, all the nodes, all the container inside the nodes. Right hand side portion is the customer managed where you can define the nodes, you can define the containers and each node having the two very important components that is the kubelet and kube proxy. Kubelet managing the containers inside the node with the help of the API. Kube proxy is managing the communication. Now let's see how it looks like inside the Azure cloud. Let's search Kubernetes services. Here you can see Kubernetes services. So this, so currently we don't have any cluster. Here we can create the cluster, create a Kubernetes cluster. So here you can select the subscription and you can select the group. So you can select standards. If you are not aware what are the types, so you can keep it such standard because it will support most of the applications. Here you can put the name like container one. You can select the region, you can select the zones. You can put into the multiple zones. But it's it, funny. So this is the recommended by Microsoft. High, highly available in, is recommended for standard configuration. But all it depends on the pricing, whatever you want to spend. Kubernetes version is the default is there. Preview version is also there, some higher version also there, but 
default is uh, like uh, most of people using default server availability you can select this one server availability keep it keep it the same here the most important here you can change the nodes you can set manual you can set auto auto scale so as per the microsoft azure the auto scaling is the recommended for standard configuration here you can change the nodes like i said to like i select two then the node pools that is the default then node access role based access control then networking keep it same you can keep it same uh, you can select uh, uh, azure cni as well because in uh, configuration where you are uh, implementing in ingress controller using the yaml file and using the secrets so that could be helpful but for now let me keep same kubenet and select integration keep. here you can select the azure container registry suppose you want to read the artifacts from the image then you can select the azure container registry that that is actually the private docker and keep it same advanced keep it same if you want to keep add some tag in case of the reporting for the pricing and all you can put the tags then click on create validation passed now click create that is completed we can go to the resource here we can see different options you can see the Kubernetes version API server address this is the API server address and so many um, properties are there like namespaces these are the default namespaces created by the AKS workloads if you implemented some applications uh, so you can see here you can see more workloads in the services and ingresses you can see here newly added services you can get here not pools we can see currently we have one default node pools you, you can add additionally if you want so this is the guess that is all in this video for now I will see in the next video where we will deploy the application in, in the Azure cloud. Till then, bye. Have a nice learning.